part of I-215 at 47 South is now back open after a deadly crash early this morning. Lexi Johnson joins us live to explain why the Highway Patrol is investigating this as a crime scene. Good morning, Lexi. Tell us what happened. Good morning, Dan and Carrie. Yeah, and I know Tamara was just talking about uh, kind of the road closure here that was happening over the last few hours. So we can see that traffic is flowing smoothly at this point on I-215 westbound. We do still have that one area off to uh, the right that is blocked off as police continue to investigate, but it doesn't really seem to be impacting traffic for the most part, cars seem to be getting over to let police uh, continue to investigate. So police say that around 1230 this morning, they got calls of a pedestrian who was on the freeway and had been struck by multiple vehicles. Now, all of the vehicles that ended up hitting the woman did remain on scene and they are cooperating with this investigation. Police say that they're suspicious as to why the woman was on the freeway in the first point. And so that's something that they're looking into. That's still under investigation. Again, that's why we're treating it as uh, as a crime scene, um, just based on the circumstances of her being on the on the freeway and, and trying to figure out who she is and, and where where she came from. Again, yeah, police say they're not exactly sure why this woman is on the freeway, and that's the main thing that they are trying to investigate to figure out why she was here and how this accident occurred. But they're going to continue to investigate throughout the morning. Again, the freeway is open. There's just that uh, blockage off to the right side as police continue to investigate. So just be aware of that if you are driving in this area this morning. Live in Taylorsville, Lexi Johnson, Fox 13 News, Utah.